You'll have to excuse my allergies if I got them today. I might be uh, sniffly and things like that, but I'm still going to read. Welcome to the show, folks. Good to have you here. I am going to start this today. It's called The Scroll of Life, or The Book of Life, but The Scroll of Life. It's interesting because this will focus a lot on Israel, this article here. I do believe there are some, a lot actually, who will receive uh, the new earth from the scroll of life. Uh, their names will be written in the scroll of life, including Israel's. So when I'm reading this, if it concerns Israel, that's okay. But you understand where I'm coming from on this uh, topic. Life lies in God's love. Its first impulse flows from Him. The amount of life imparted corresponds with the measure of the divine affection toward its object. To all the creatures created in the Son of His love, God has given life. All ma mankind possess it in some degree. Yet to Israel, God was especially loving. Hence their names are written in the scroll of life to distinguish them from the less favored families of the race. Beyond this, Ionian life is the special portion of believers. Life immortal and incorruptible will be theirs for the eons of the eons. Life becomes the precious portion of all at the consummation. The grand truth that death will be abolished 1 Corinthians 15, 26 and 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 10 fills our hearts with adoration. Our own vivification in the presence of Christ brings us, brings us consolation and expectation. But the special place of Israel in the various planes of life still needs to be explored. Long, long ago, certain passages in Paul's epistles led me to look upon the scroll of life as, the, as a census of the sons of Israel and confined to the circumcision. Gradually, this impression faded, but when I seriously considered the subject again, I once more came to this conclusion. If this is true, it greatly simplifies some problems con connected with the judgment at the great white throne. Some of Paul's fellow workers are described in Philippians as those whose names are written in the scroll of life. F Philippians chapter 4, verse 3. In Colossians is a similar passage. Who are of the circumcision? Colossians chapter 4, verse 11. It is evident that the apostle continued to associate with, with his brethren according to the flesh, especially if they received the special revelations given to him. Now, I could be wrong. You know, maybe because the 12 tribes of Israel is not the Jews you see in, in Jerusalem today. They can be Chinese, they can be East Indian, they can be whoever, but they could be still the true Israel of God. So understand that, okay? The ones who are in the scroll of life, it could be all Israel, but different, different nations, really, but one nation. As you see today, they're hidden in the world. They are being separated right now and being preserved on the earth for that coming eon, Israel is. Make no bones about it, all will be saved at the consummation anyway. So, we'll just continue on here and read what A. Enoch has to say about it. But the evidence here is far too weak to form the basis on which we, to build, build any teaching. It will be better to confirm it before going further. It seems to be implied in passages in the Hebrew scriptures, but the most conclusive evidence perhaps is furnished us in connection with the holy city, New Jerusalem, the bride, uh, the wife of the lambkin. Unveiling chapter 21, verse 9 through 27. At the close of its description, we are told, under no circumstances may anything contaminating or one who is making an abomination and a lie be entering into it, except those written in the Lampkin scroll of life 
On the portals of this city are inscribed the names of the 12 tribes of the sons of Israel. Unveiling chapter 21, verse 12. It seems needless to find further evidence that this is indeed the home of the favored nation. That the other nations are not written in, in its walls is further shown by the statements that the nations will be walking by means of its light and that their glory and honor will be carried into it. Unveiling chapter 21, verse 24 and 26. The situation here seems very clear. Israel within the city, the nations without. One written in the scroll of life, the other kept out by the lack of such an honor. The kings of the nations. Israel is to, be, to give birth to a son, a male, who will be shepherding all the nations with an iron club. Unveiling chapter 12, verse 5. As the woman is figurative, so also must her travail and the son which she bears. The epithet male seems to connect the, this company out of Israel with the, with the celibates, the 144,000. And those aren't Jehovah Witnesses either. The 144,000 are Israelites. The 12 apostles seated on 12 thrones will rule in Israel. Luke chapter 21, verse 30. But here we have the rule of Israel over the other nations by means of delegates who will have a prominent part in fulfilling the promises that they will reign with him during the thousand years. Unveiling chapter 20, verse 6. Although the priestly functions of Israel cease in the new earth, their rule continues for they reign for the eons of the eons. Unveiling chapter 22, verse 5. Hence, we should expect to find Israel among the nations, attending to the administration of the kingdom, even in the last eon. And this seems to be confirmed by the fact that the kings of the earth carry the glory of the nations into it. They could hardly enter its portals if they were Gentiles. Their names are also in the Lampkin's Book of Life, for they are not Gentiles, but kings over them. Okay, I'm going to stop there for today. 147. Okay, perfect. So it's going to give you an idea where A. E. Nock comes from. So this article I'm reading, I'm reading it by A. E. Nock. Okay, understand it. Your own personal belief on it, and if you study the scriptures, you can see that there will be many, many outside that city, New Jerusalem, but they will still be on the new earth. So that's proof right there that there'll be more, more written in the scroll of life. Not just Israel. There'll be Gentiles outside the city. So that's what I'm telling you folks today. Maybe I got it wrong. You'll have to study it out for yourself. And the reason why I say that is because studying of the scriptures is very important to understand what you're, what you're bringing. Okay? My own personal belief on this means nothing, but I'm reading this article so you can see, so you can get a clearer picture of how A. Enoch is bringing this across. I love you all. Have a wonderful Thursday. Grace and peace to you.